Hey, welcome back. This is Kevin from Let Me Tech You, and today I'm going to be talking about how to deploy an Amazon Linux EC2 instance using Terraform. Now, with this, you've probably maybe already used Terraform, or you know, you're just looking for a quick way to you know get an instance created and you know push to the cloud. So, if you've already gotten a uh, Amazon cloud account set up and Terraform um, cloud account set up, then you're already past beyond a lot of this if you haven't i would suggest go to this uh blog article i do have it in um i'll have it in the bio i mean in, the, in below in the bio section so just go ahead and click there and run through this initial setup basically it's going to walk you through installing terraform on a windows pc now this can be utilized on window or on mac and um, linux so once you get past this part everything should be the same um, essentially, you'll need to configure your uh, Terraform for AWS. So you'll be you'll need to create an IAM user. So if you already have a uh, access key generated for the user that you're going to be using, you can utilize that, or you can create a new one and give it uh, least privileged access. Um, basically, if you only needed to give it permissions to create EC2 instances, or this is a lab environment, and you're not really trying to worry too much about security right now, you could just give it admin access and just create a new user for that. And then once you're done, delete it. Then you go in and create your uh, cloud account, get your uh, workspace organization set up, um, and then add your variables uh, from that access key that you created. So that's just a quick rundown there. Uh, like I said, walk through this uh, blog article and you'll be able to get set up pretty quick. Now to the uh, kind of easy part here, basically this is just gonna deploy a simple AWS Linux um, in the default EC2 instance. Uh, the default VPC um, that's generated when you first sign up for uh, AWS. So once you come in, we're basically gonna set our Terraform configuration setup. And in that, you're basically gonna have three files you wanna create when you're uh, starting a new project. Your main.tf, variable and outputs.tf. Now, in my setup, I just have the main.tf because it's the only thing we're going to be using um, in this lab. But basically, if you do your outputs and variables, they may they can stay empty, but you'll eventually use them as you start to grow. So once you set up your main.tf file, just create a folder like on your C drive or whatever, put a main.tf file that's in there that's blank. And in, in your editor of choice, I also have this code copied on our site. So you can copy this and throw it in there. And basically what this is doing is it's taking and saying our cloud, we're gonna be um, utilizing Terraform Cloud and our organization is whatever we named it when we created our Terraform Cloud account. If you don't know what that is, you can go sign into your Terraform Cloud account and you'll see that up here on the uh, left-hand corner. Then with that, you're gonna go ahead and create a workspace. Um, or you, you're going to name a workspace that'll be created whenever you uh, run this. We've got our providers that's being set and then the provider that's being utilized. And then we're setting a region to US East 1. Now this region can be whatever region you want to particularly use. I'm using US East 1 because that's what I'm closest to. Now, to our EC2 instance. So now once you get to the instance part, you'll basically want to use the resource block and then create what's called an AWS underscore instance. Now you're probably wondering maybe if you're not used to Terraform, how did I figure this out? Well, if you go into Terraform, the registry, you can click on AWS or search for AWS and then go to documentation. So this is one their official um, provider. And then you can go type in say EC2 instance. And you'll see here we have resources, AWS, underscore instance and basically this is what we're utilizing we're utilizing this example um, basically this is a way to kind of filter out a specific AMI but you'll usually you'll, you'll just use the information that's you know set up in here so let me come here so then what you can do is we see where it says AMI that's always that's gonna be also found here so the idea of the AMI to use so once you find all the, uh, the different variables and things that you want to set 
And here we're just going to kind of keep it simple just to kind of get one going real quick. So this AMI can be found in, in Amazon. So if you go into launch instance, pick Linux here, we're going to do a t2.micro. You can copy this here. And you can basically put that in there. Now there is a way to get this dynamically and that can be done like how they have in the data source. So yeah, here, so yeah, so it has data instance, instance ID equals I dot instance ID, filter by the image ID, a my such and such, and then filter tag. It's like, so there's a way to filter out and get dynamically from AWS a specific type of instance. So it looks like actually I'm on the, let me see, EC2. Okay, there we go. I think I was on the actual data type for EC2. So data sources. So yeah, this is actually where you see the AWS instance being created. So you can actually copy that and utilize it in your, you know, um, config file. But basically, these are all other options and things you can set. So once you get that all set, you can basically come in, do a Terraform plan. And this you want to kind of run too. You can do it auto approve, but I, I suggest always just doing the Terraform plan and then seeing what uh, is being either updated, um, changed, or deleted. That way, if you did actually put a typo somewhere, um, it'll catch it. And then you can go back and check. So we see we only got one thing being added. And we can see what that one thing is. It's the EC2 instance here, the AWS, AWS instance. So then what we'll do is we'll go to Terraform. And this is, has a little delay because it's actually utilizing Terraform Cloud. So it's a little delay between it talking from the host to the cloud um, network. And the great thing about using the cloud, um, um, Terraform Cloud setup is it actually saves your state file up there as well so your state file is what holds your you know resource configuration and things like that so in the event um you know say you lose your computer or something like that you don't have to worry about the state configuration being lost of your organization and having to pull all that back in somehow so once this uh plan goes through you just um accept it with the yes option which should come up here. And what that's gonna do is basically deploy this into the default VPC that's set up. And we'll be able to see also these changes we wanted inside our workspace. So if you come in here and see where it says applying, you can actually watch these runs that are going on. Actually has like a CLI version of what's being created. So you should be able to see now if we go into EC2 that this is being created in our default VPC. It's not running yet, but it, uh, well now it's running, but it's initializing. So that's that there. Um, basically, if we want, once we're done, we don't need it anymore. We can run a Terraform destroy. And like I said, this is also will be utilized and show, shown up here as well. Now, this is where I was talking about the state files being configured and saved. Basically shows all your configuration. So this is a great tool to kind of get used to as well, because you'll probably see this in a lot of different environments that you might work in. Um, so that multiple people can possibly work on the same workspace, things like that. So once that's going through, we're just gonna go ahead and hit yes there. And once that's done, um, that's basically it. That's just a simple way to uh, deploy a, a Linux instance uh, using Terraform. You can change the uh, VPC by adding like your subnet and applying it to that. You're gonna need like security groups, um, keys, access keys to be able to remote in. So there's a bunch of different options. I just re recommend going through their, uh, their documentation and grabbing what you need out specific to your environment. 
So again, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments uh, or any other videos that you'd like me to kind of go over as far as Terraform, cloud, networking, or automation. Just drop me a comment below and I'll get back to you. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.